G'day guys, as most of you know, I missed uploading last week because I was taking care of Nicole after her surgery. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who wished her well. She read all your messages and it really made her day. Now she is recovering well, but she's not quite 100% yet. So I'm really trying to limit the amount of time that I'm in the workshop. So for this week's project, I've set myself a goal to only work on it for 30 minutes. Now I know that's going to be a bit difficult, but let's give it a go. So the project that I've decided to make is a wooden resin keychain. Now yesterday I came out and grabbed all these pieces that I need to make it, so today I can just get on with building it. So the plan for this one should be quite easy. I've got myself a piece of scrap burl here. I'm going to cut it straight down the middle and then square the edges up on the disc sander. Once I've done that, I'll paint it black with some acrylic paint. And then to make it colourful, I'm going to mix some mica pigments with some UV resin and paint it over the top. Now once that's dry, I'm going to take my epoxy resin, pour it into the void, then we'll put it into the pressure pot to cure. So I guess the next thing we have to do is start the timer and get building. Now there is one thing I want to mention, this video might not be as edited as my other ones, and you will see the camera move from tool to tool. So we just need to make sure that these pieces are exactly the same size. Okay, I think that looked pretty good. Wow, look at that. We've blown five minutes of our budget already. Okay, I think we need to speed up this drying process. I think we'll use some blues and purples in this one. I'm also going to mix in some green glow in the dark. Nearly 10 minutes gone already. We haven't even got the pigment on yet. I'm really thinking that this needs to be in the pot by like the 20 minute mark at least. Then that gives me 10 minutes to sand and finish it up. Now that's going to be a massive ask. And to be honest, I don't know if I could do it. Maybe we need to put our guesses down below now. What do we think? How far am I going to go over? To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to do it in under an hour at this rate. Now I guess if you can't tell by now, I'm rushing. I'm going extremely fast. So I'm sure that I'm going to stuff this up somewhere along the line.
Okay, let's drop on some glow in the dark. Okay, let's set the UV resin. Now in a perfect scenario, this really needs 15 minutes, but we don't have 15 minutes. We've got 16 minutes left of our challenge, which I don't think is enough. I probably already said this, I think. But anyway, we'll just keep going. Who knows? I think it'll still work out. I think what we might do is lay this torch down. I'll get the pieces in front of it and then we'll start cutting our perspex. If you're seeing a few cuts here and there, it's because I'm refocusing the camera. Okay, that's about all we can give it on that. Let's start sticking this to the mold. I'm just going to use some CA glue for that. Oh, of course. My nozzle's blocked. Well, we're definitely not getting in the pot before 20 minutes. Probably went a bit overboard with the CA glue, but I just really can't afford for this to leak. Let's get the resin ready. A lot of you worry that I mix up too much resin, but don't worry, I've always got projects on the go, so I always use it elsewhere. This is definitely the longest part. You just can't cut short the mixing of the resin. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's pour it in. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. I can't see any leaks. Now there is one more thing I want to do. I've just mixed myself up some more pigment here and I'm going to get myself a toothpick and try and make a bit of a nebula effect in there. There's one other thing I just saw. I just want to tape up these ends just in case the resin gets out. Might not have used enough pigment there. Too late now. Let's get it in the pot. Now 
Well, we're in the pot at the 28 minute mark. I guess the real question now is, how quick can I sand and polish this thing? Well, that's it. 29.30, let's stop it there. Well guys, it's in the pot, and that was a frantic 29 minutes and 39 seconds. So that leaves us 21 seconds to finish the challenge. Well, we all know that that isn't gonna happen. I mean, all I have left to do is sand and polish, but even I can't do it that quick. So how long do you guys reckon I need? Do you reckon another 10, 15, maybe 20? Let me know in the comments. It's now a brand new day and it's time to take this out of the pot. Let's hope it worked. I think it's looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. All I have to do now is pop it out, give it a sand and a polish, pop the keyring on and we're finished. We're currently at the 29 minute mark, so I'm thinking if I can get this done in the next 15 minutes, that's not too bad. I think I'm just gonna waste too much time trying to get this off. I'm gonna go straight to the sander. It's really important that you make sure before you move on to the next grit that you got all the deep scratches out. Not too sure if you guys can see that time or not. Well, we're another 10 minutes down, but it looks like I've got all the deep scratches out. So now I can just go through the grits, polish this up and we'll be done. I was gonna stick with the big pieces like that, but it's just too hard. I'm just gonna go for these smaller ones. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. 
time to give it a polish. Now to finish it up, I'm just going to give it a hit on the buff. So we're now at the 47 minute mark, nearly 48. Now all I have to do now is drill a hole in it and put in this key ring. Didn't drill my hole deep enough. That should be better. Well, there we have it. Our finished keychain. 52-52. That's not too bad, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, that keychain's massive. That can't fit in your pocket. Well, the reason I made it this big is because it's for my workshop keys, and they never really go in my pocket. I unlock the door and I hang it on a hook, but occasionally I lose them because they're quite small, so that's why I've made this keychain this size. That looks pretty cool. Now for those of you with a keen eye, would have noticed the band-aid appear on my finger. It happened right before I was about to sand on the disc sander. I just cut my finger on the perspex a little bit, so if you guys see that and wonder why, that's what happened. Now unfortunately we didn't make the 30 minute challenge, we did go over by 22 minutes. Now I've got to admit, this was quite stressful, a lot more stressful than my normal builds, where I get to cut and stop the camera, take a break, focus it, that kind of thing, but it was still fun. So I guess there's only one more thing left to do, and that's take a closer look. <laughs> 